Yo, Yankees fans, it is Felix yet again for NYNews.com, and you are tuned in to the NYY News YouTube channel. Yankees fans, we have seen so many moves go down. It's like somebody got together over the weekend, had a few drinks, and plenty of moves went down because we all saw the Hosmer signing go down in the middle of midnight. Now, J.D. Martinez finally signs with the Red Sox like we predicted and knew all along. It was common sense. It was widely known that J.D. Martinez would sign for five years. I mean, the guy only played a full season in the major leagues. So the Red Sox stood their ground and got a good deal. That's a good deal. Five years and he could opt out in two years. So the Red Sox upgraded. And people, you got to understand that the Red Sox came in first place and were last in the American League for home runs. So they just upgraded in that department. And you got to like their chances with their starting pitching coming back and expected to do better. So the Red Sox are going to give the Yankees a tough time for that first place slot in the AO East. Why? Because... The AL East, besides the Yankees and the Red Sox, is going to be trash. The Blue Jays, Rays, and even the Orioles are going to have depleted teams or teams that can't compete in the AL East. They're going to be below 500. So expect the Red Sox to also feed into the destruction of the AL East and give the Yankees some competition for first place. So let's give you some news to look forward to. Jared Dyson just signed a contract with the Diamondbacks after J.D. Martinez signed with the Red Sox. I see it more as a insurance policy replacing J.D. Martinez that had 40 plus home runs with a Jared Dyson where we have five home runs. So the Diamondbacks can still make a move. I don't see them stopping. But Dyson was a target for the Orioles. So, whoa, hold up. Wait a second, Yankees fans. Dyson was a main target of the Orioles, and they just lost him. The Orioles wanted to add a left-handed bat into their lineup, specifically an outfielder. Now that he's gone, we all know, if you've been paying attention this offseason, that the Orioles have expressed interest in Ellsbury. So them losing out on Dyson, their only option now is Jacoby Ellsbury. Do the Yankees counter the Red Sox signing J.D. Martinez with a Manny Machado? Also, Orioles fans have been blowing up my Twitter mention saying, hey, I think it's a great idea. I think the Orioles should engage in dialogue with the Yankees because they know for a fact that they're going to get a legit return if they do a deal with the Yankees. Hey, the Yankees might even throw in Jabari Blash, who some scouts say that some teams can tweak Jabari Blash to become the next Aaron Judge. A uh, little few tweaks in there. He might be a 40-plus home run uh, hitter. So wow, folks, we're living in the Twilight Zone. It's like a movie. All these players are going here and there. And the chances of lining Manny Machado just becomes higher. I mean, you couldn't even write a better script if you were a Hollywood director. It's like it's happening on purpose. But if you see these deals go down, it's not. It's just happening, folks. I guess it was meant to be for Manny Machado to be a Yankee in 2018. Because like I said in my previous video, he will pay for himself this season. The Yankees are going to make a gazillion dollars with that baseball team they're going to throw out there. So, wow, this is just crazy, folks. Like, there's a high chance that we might ship out Jacoby Ellsbury. It might just happen, folks. I saw today Jacoby Ellsbury taking BP and just in spring training in um, Steinbrenner Field, and it just felt eerie. It felt like he didn't belong on the Yankees. It felt like He's not supposed to be there, so I don't know, man. The energy on Ellsbury just tells me that he's not going to be a New York Yankee. He just has all this negative energy onto him, and it really felt like I was watching a ghost 
still on the New York Yankees. It just felt weird. So, I don't know, man. Like I said, there's a high chance the Orioles might make a move for Jacoby Ellsbury. It's not hearsay. It's not fantasy. It has a high chance of happening. The Orioles like Ellsbury. They just lost out on a left-handed batter in Dyson. Jacoby Ellsbury is everything they're looking for. Obviously, they wanted Dyson as well because he steals bases. Ellsbury can still steal bases for you. So, wow, man, this is just crazy, man. The Yankees have a high possibility more than ever to ship out Ellsbury and land Manny Machado. I don't know what's holding this deal up. Maybe Angelos? Maybe certain prospects that the Yankees don't want to let go of? Maybe they think they can still sign Mustakas? But like I said in my previous videos, folks, the Yankees are going to lose out on draft picks and international money. So going after Machado makes more sense. And if they ship out Ellsbury, you still have the chance to sign a Cobb, a starting pitcher. So this is the best possible scenario for the Yankees. It might not be a Cobb. He might be more expensive. But who knows? The Yankees have an opportunity of even adding another pitcher to their starting rotation. So something to look out for, folks. A lot of things are moving fast now that spring training is on the horizon. A lot of players are signing. And like I said, man, this is just an exciting time to be a Yankees fan. And also, about the music in my previous video of John Carlos Stanton and Aaron Judge taking BP, what I did was I recorded that on my desktop and I forgot that I had music playing. So yeah, that's actually the Salmonetti source who makes great music, by the way. That was from one of his mixtapes over the summer. You see, I brought... Simonetti out of retirement and back to the Yankees news thing because he did used to do it years ago with me when I first launched NYNews.com in 2005 and years after that we were a team on NYNews.com but yeah I, I brought him out of retirement this is what Peter Simonetti does he does music as well so yeah many people were asking me where they could find that music I'm gonna leave the link in the comment section below and you can download it. You can download the tracks or track that you heard in the BP video. So, like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from M1News.com. Share, like, and subscribe. Let's hit 1,000 subscribers. I will check you out next time.